welcome to Stories and Tales channel. My name is Miss Mimi and I'm super glad to have you with me today. Today we're going to start off with a song and it's a pretty popular nursery rhyme. Let's see how many of us know it. It starts with, this is how it sounds. Mm, 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 I'm sure you've guessed it by now. Mm -hmm. Let's sing it together. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. And anywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day. He followed her to school one day, which was against the rules. It made the children laugh and play, ha, laugh and play, ha, laugh and play. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. Yeah, that's where I'm going to stop for today. <laughs> it's been a while, right? Okay, so today's story is not about a lamb but it is about a goat and the title of the story is nanny goats boat nanny goats boat i i know i say this for all the books that i read on this channel but it's not my fault i can like mother one book i can love what the mom what mother one book even but i like this book because it has rhyming words in them and there are activities that kind of get you children involved in the story. So let's dive in. The library, a magic castle. Come to the magic castle when you are growing tall. Rows upon rows of world, word windows line every single wall. They reach up high, as high as the sky and you want to open them all. For every time you open one, a new adventure has begun. Begun. Andrew opened a word window, and here is what he read. For context, a word window is a book. Nanny Goat had a boat, a little sailboat. I will sail away, she said one day. But the boat would not float, and the goat lost her coat. Now, before we go further, I need you to try to pick out as many rhyming words as you can, okay? Thank you. She was wet from her nose to the tips of her toes. Wet. Poor goat soon had a very sore throat. She went to the doctor. Guess what he said? Take a pill and stay in bed. That's the doctor and that's Nanny Goat. Her friends came to visit her one at a time. To cheer her up, each one came with a rhyme. Just like the one we sang at first. The fox said, guess what is in this box? Is it a tie or two pairs of socks? Goat said, Socks, thank you, fox. That's fox, and this is goat. Cat came with something in a hat. Is it a bird or a ball and a bat? Asked cat. This is cat. This is what cat came in. Goat said, A ball and a bat. Thank you, cat. Three butterflies came with a sweet surprise. Hmm. Goat seems to have a lot of eyes. I'm impressed. Close your eyes, said the butterflies. Is this a book or a strawberry pie? Goat said, pie. Thank you, butterflies. These are the three butterflies. Two kangaroos jumped up the stairs. We brought you things that come in pairs. Oh goodness, can you think of anything that comes in pairs? I love this, I love this, I really love this. Two pairs of gloves, one, two. 
or two pairs of shoes? One, two. Can you guess? Ask the kangaroo. Goats did. Can you? Ape came with a gift for Nanny Goat. This is to wear when you sail in your boat. Is it a scarf or a cape? Asked the ape. You know, isn't that so? Bear also gave goats something to wear. Is it a dress or a bow for your hair? Asked Bear. Did goat say a bow for my hair, Bear? So we're gonna pause here and look at the photos. So you can see that the kangaroos actually brought two pairs of shoes and what's the last animal? Ape brought a cape because we can see it hanging here. We can see the two pairs of shoes and we can see the socks, all the gifts, all the things. Bunny gave goat something funny. Is this a balloon or a bank full of money? Asked Bunny. Can you guess? I'm asking you, what do you think it is? I hope your guess is right. Now, here we can see that Goat has a bow in her hair, which is thanks to Bear. Great, said the Goat. I can buy a new boat. She quickly got over her bad sore throat. That's it, she got a piggy bank. Then she bought a new boat, one that would float. That's her boat, that would float. She wrote each friend a little note. Thank you for rhyming me your rhyme. Come sailing with me anytime. You have been so nice to me. Come to my party at half past three. Aww. So Goat is giving a party. My, what a treat. Guess what? There is one empty seat. And that seat is for you. Goat says, Rhyme me a rhyme and come to my party anytime. Before we go, I want us to I want you to come up with a rhyme of your own. Right? Goat's rhyme goes this way. Rhyme me a rhyme and come to my party anytime. So if you want to go to goat's party, let's rhyme go to rhyme. Okay? Uh, maybe we can use the picture, something we see on the picture to, to make a rhyme. Uh, let's see what you think I'm gonna pick. You look at the picture. Let's pick something. Oh, hmm. I see chocolate here. Can I make a rhyme that has chocolate in it? It's a yummy chocolate. Oh my, it's on my plate. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> oh, see, I, I did a rhyme. It's yummy chocolate. Oh my. It's on my plate. Wait. Whoa. Yes, yes. Give it up for Miss Mimi. Woo -hoo! Woo -woo 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 -woo! If I don't hype myself, who will? It's your turn. Look at the pictures and pick any picture that you want to make a rhyme with. Okay? Let's see how you do. And I will see you here next time on Stories and Tales. Bye.